Now that we have many tables in our management system, we want to create a print layout to print our invoice. In order to do that, let's go to the invoice table and click on the print layout icon. Here you will see a standard format that appears automatically. For our use case, we're going to create a new blank layout. And let's create. Here we see a new blank A4 print layout where we can define the paper format, adjust the size of the page, the head and foot, and also the page margins. In this case, we're going to put a header of 50 to give us more space. And let's start by adding a static image that is going to be the company logo. Here we have a new image field that we can adjust to our layout. Also, let's insert a text field with the company name. This text field can be adjusted to our page. And we can also adjust the size of the font the color and the position of the text. Both of these fields are going to be inserted in the page head. Now, let's start by inserting the, the body. For our layout body, we want to insert the fields that represent the record. So let's insert the invoice ID here and let's adjust it to our position. Let's also insert the invoice date. And also the invoice items. OK, we can also insert some text fields to give us the title of our rows. So let's adjust it here. And let's insert the invoice ID and the invoice date. We can copy and paste the field and change it as we need. So here we have also our subtable where we can adjust if we want to see the header and the footer. We can adjust the table columns and also the border style. Here we can also adjust the size of this table. In our print layout, we can also create formulas. So if we insert a new formula here, we can insert, for example, if we want to see the sum of our invoice item total price. This will give us the total amount for our invoice. And we can also adjust it to the, to the page and insert a title for this part. In our fields, we can also mix text with formulas. In order to do that, let's first insert a formula with the client name. So here we're going to see the client's name. The formulas are always inserted between curly brackets. So if we want to add a text, we can put it outside the curly brackets. So in this case, we can put dear client name. Thank you for your purchase. And here we can also assign the text color and size. And let's put it in another location. So here we see that the text is combined with a formula that comes from the record. If we click on the print icon on the right side, we can print this record as a PDF or all records from the table and open it in our device. Now we can save our layout and go back to our database. Ninox.